1st of July 2023, the tackle height was lowered in the community game to below the base of the sternum, as well as introducing laws around the responsibility of the ball carrier. Let's take a look at the laws that were introduced and where to go to learn. The biggest changes for the ball carrier themselves are that they must now not lower their body height or dip down significantly just before contact in open play. This is described as late and low, and the secondary signal looks like this. The ball carrier can still brace for contact and still carry into the tackler, but we want them to always have their head above their hips and not be in a position which risks encroaching on the headspace of their opponent. A good way of thinking about this law is thinking about safety and equity. Did the ball carrier's actions put the opponent at risk? Was the ball carrier reckless or dangerous in their actions? And did the tackler have a fair chance of making a below the base of the sternum tackle? These can be difficult to see, but by thinking about it in terms of safety and equity, it can help you spot them more effectively. So we've spoken about the ball carrier, now for the tackler. The tackler must affect tackles below the base of the sternum. Tackles above the base of the sternum, including those that start below and finish above, may be liable to sanction. The sanction we deliver is based on four questions. Was there contact above the base of the sternum? Was it foul play? What was the level of danger? And was there any mitigation? On screen, you'll see our domestic law variation decision-making framework. It might look a little bit complicated, but all it involves is considering those four questions and using the evidence to make your decision. With this framework, we start at penalty only and collect evidence to increase the sanction. There, we can apply mitigation. For example, if we have a tackle which starts above the base of the sternum, but is a low level of force, the tackle is always in control and it's at low speed, you should look to award a penalty. This is the opposite to the way that we use the World Rugby head contact process. But that's something we'll talk about in a different video. There are times when the new tackle height and the ball carrier responsibilities aren't implemented. This includes the set piece, the scrum, the line out, picks and drives close to the ruck, or when scoring or attempting to score a try. There are loads of videos and tutorials just like this one around these law changes, and to watch them, head over to the England Rugby Tackle Height Hub. The Big Five Guide makes you a part of an exciting game of rugby union. World Rugby's on-field priorities encourage a safe and fast contest. Stay on top of your game and check out the Big Five Guide.